In this video we will go over the process of to assemble the cooling fan that cools the plastic after it has been printed. So what's included in this section is firstly a 40mm 12 volt fan. The wires will be already soldered so the cable that's connected to the to the fan will be one meter long. You'll receive the, the fan duct, the mounting bracket and then eight uh, 3x16 self-tapping screws. For this assembly you'll need one Phillips screwdriver. The first step will be to mount the fan to the duct. So this is the top side of the, the duct and we'll take the fan. The sticker will be to the inside and the wires will be coming out the, the top so we'll mount it like that and we'll use four of the screws to mount the fan onto the the printed duct. When you're finished the duct will look like this with the fan mounted to it. So the next step will be to mount the duct to the bracket. You'll see that this side will be mounted to the extruder and the, this bracket is tapering downwards. For all the printers that have the, the metal hot end, which is most of the printers, this uh, section of the bracket will need to go down and then we mount the the duct to the bracket like that. If you have a, a jade hot end you'll see that the jade is a little bit shorter and then you'll need to mount the, the bracket like that. But for most cases this section of the bracket will need to go down with the, the duct like that. And then we'll use two of the screws to mount it the duct to the, the bracket. When you've mounted the bracket the assembly will look like this and you'll be able to move the, the fan to rotate it but it shouldn't be loose it should be there should be friction so that it stays in the position that you that you leave it. So the next step will be to route the wires through the channel you'll see there's a channel that runs on the inside of the bracket and you can route the, the two wires through there so that it's nice and, and neat. Um, if you struggle to get it through this first section of the, of the channel you're welcome to unscrew these screws a little bit to open up the channel and when you're done you can, you can mount them as they, as they should be. Now the assembly looks like this with the cables routed nicely through and the duct is fixed to the bracket and now you're ready to mount it to your printer. Now we can mount the fan to the extruder. You will see that there's two mounting holes on the front of the extruder. We can open the, bend the fan down a little bit and then we mount it with the last two screws through the, the holes provided. Now the assembly looks like this with the bracket mounted to the extruder and we can bend the, the duct up until it touches the, the fan that cools the, the hot end. The wires will root with the wires of the hot end and the, the stepper motor to the, the electronics and on the electronics side you'll see that the, the electronics looks like this and there's three sets of uh, ports or connection points D8, D9 and D10 on the on the ramps board. The one on the left hand side is meant for the for the hot end, the one on the right hand side is for the, the heated bed and the one in the middle will be for the cooling fan. So we'll connect the, the red and the black wire. You'll see that the, the positive goes on the right hand side of D9 and the black goes on the, the left hand side of, of D9. And then you're done. You'll see that you'll be able to control the, the speed of the fan also from the, the, the PC in, in Repetio Host. You can set the, the speed and this fan is, is controllable throughout the, the print. So what usually happens for instance when we print PLA then we use the cooling fan and then 
we switch it off for the first few layers, let's say the first three layers, and then we can switch it on to 100%. You can also, if you want less of, of uh, ventilation or less cooling, you can switch it on to 50% um, or whatever you want to, to do in your print.